All right, guys, so I'm at the hotel. It is 10 o'clock. The race shops are just opening up uh, for visitation, and I'm going to be on the road for probably the final time of this trip. Uh, I may hit the NFL Hall of Fame if I get down there in time today. They close, I believe I saw at 5 o'clock. Seven-hour drive, so we're probably not going to make it today, and I really don't want to stay just a couple hours away from my house. You know just to pay another 80 90 bucks for a hotel room so i'm probably gonna just go home right after um get home sometime tonight assuming that i can drive worst case scenario i'll uh, stop at a rest stop sleep for a couple hours and carry on the rest of the way home uh regardless of the fact i'm gonna either show up in the morning tomorrow pretty early in the morning tomorrow or i'm gonna end up uh, at my house tonight uh depending on again how long the uh, trip is now again I would have gotten here if I drove straight I would have gotten here about 1230 uh, Give the two hours, you know back if I can get it home by 11 o'clock tonight. That'd be ideal uh, I should easily be able to get home by 10 o'clock nine hour drive maybe eat somewhere once somewhere along the way Should be fine So uh, so I uh, get this get this trip going uh, get the show on the road I I I love this place. I mean, I, I am definitely coming back. For the, I was going to come back anyway for the Coca-Cola 600 at some point in time. Um, definitely want to come back here again, revisit the Hall of Fame in case I missed anything that was in there, spend some more time at the race shop. I should have more money next time I come here uh, down the road, especially with that being an earlier race in the season, with this being in the playoffs and already going to a bunch of races leading up to this point. Uh, the winner is really when I start... Um, uh, racking up a lot of money because I don't travel anywhere so because uh, it's during the off season so I'm just constantly working uh, day after day after day so no time off and uh, still on vacation <laughs> even if I get home tonight I still got the next two days off or if I don't get home tonight I'll still have the next day off and I get home tomorrow so we'll see where today will take us uh, this may or may not be the final day of the trip Okay guys, I am on my way back home, just leaving the Penske shop, and uh, just past KBM Motorsports as well, and almost pulled in just because I saw it. Such a blast in the Penske shop. I mean, not a lot to do outside of looking around at what's in the souvenir shop, which there's everything you can think of Penske as far as souvenir stuff. They've got uh, decals of the cars cut off, they got actual In a quarter mile, car turn car right onto North Carolina 115 North. And, uh, I mean, any die cast from the last couple years of any driver in any car or uh, NASCAR, even Austin Cindric's Xfinity cars. I mean, it it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. T-shirts, uh, more T-shirts that you can buy there than what you can find on NASCAR.com or um, even at any. Take the, the next right onto North Carolina 115 North. Notice, and I wonder if it has to do with being close to the. Uh, uh, actual team shops. I wonder if that is why Sorry, I'm trying to focus on this which way to turn um, but I believe that is why uh, There were probably more t-shirts um, To pick from and choose from at the continue on North Carolina 115 North for five miles uh, And I don't think it has anything to do really with the playoffs. Yeah, the playoff stuff, you know added in there But I mean that's gonna happen so I bought a playoff uh, t-shirt at the racetrack. 
uh, got one, a die cast at the Hall of Fame and got another die, die cast here. I'm like, I gotta walk away with something. I know I have to save some money for food and gas the rest of the week. Um, but, oh, man, I couldn't, couldn't help it. <laughs> couldn't help it. I'm like, I have to walk out of here with something. I can't walk out empty-handed. I'll feel remorseful, even though I'm coming back at some point in the future. I mean, so much can change uh, from now and whenever I decide to come back for the Coca-Cola 600. So uh, I got to get back here on 77 North uh, pretty much all the way through. I'm going to go through Columbus because I did spend money here uh, at the uh, race shop and looking at my balance on my bank account, I'm really going to try to save, save, save the rest of the couple weeks until I get paid uh, next week. So because I do have a car payment due, I do have to make other payments uh, uh, for rent with my because I'm still living with my parents so I gotta pay that uh, them when I get back because I didn't pay them before I left so I've got other you know grown up business things to do despite the fact I've basically lived out my childhood this weekend just such a blast I cannot wait to come back here again and uh, I wasn't originally planning on coming to the Coca-Cola 600 anytime in the near future but I mean after just what to see this week and I still didn't even see everything I wanted to see I didn't even hit a golf course the three days I was down here I was just so busy doing so many things NASCAR related that I mean I, I just don't have the time I could have stayed here another day but again hotel room more money um, not that I don't have the money I just it, it's just me telling myself you'll be back here again someday hey, I will be back for the Coca-Cola 600 someday I will hit and visit the Hall of Fame again Penske race shop maybe even uh, visit some more race shops I will make sure I have the funding to do literally whatever I want when I want to do it when that happens I can't wait uh, I mean it's one of those things like I would be willing to come back here six months from now, six, seven months from now for the uh, Coca-Cola 600. I, such a blast. This has been my favorite trip so far out of any of the NASCAR trips I've gone to. Maybe not the best race I've seen live yesterday, although it was a good race, but out of the eight tracks I've been to in 11, 11 races now, I mean, this is cup races, that is. This is... Uh, definitely the best trip overall still got to go home and I did have a tire situation I mean again the, the tire situation and the uh, um, brakes I had to get done that I wasn't originally going to get done earlier in the week and the rental car I had to cancel so I am going to get $150 back from the rental car place that I still haven't gotten in my bank statement otherwise I probably would have walked away with either a helmet or a <laughs> race helmet a uh, race worn replica helmet uh, I was so tempted to get that instead of a die cast, but I was really trying to hold it back. Next time I go back there, I'm going to get both a helmet and a side panel or a hood, whatever I end up deciding to get. Mark my words. <laughs> this is so jealous of myself on the fact I was there and I just I couldn't get it. I could afford it, but I didn't feel like blowing all the money that I have right now. I will make sure I budget way more than enough to get all that next time. I mean, just think about it. The $400 I spent uh, getting my brakes and brake pads fixed and stuff that it wasn't going to do. I was going to wait it out, you know, until the next paycheck when I got back, when I have more time after I get back from vacation. And I was going to get a rental car and save money that way, but instead I had to put the $400 forefront. And I already had the rental car paid for. The reason why I didn't get the rental car on Monday is because I found out from a buddy of mine at work. He's like, hey, you're not 25 yet, are you? And I'm like, no. He's like, oh, that's what I thought. He's like, you can't get a rental car. So I looked into it. Yeah, I couldn't, can't get a rental car until the age of 25. I don't know if that's a state law in Ohio or if that's just a countrywide law. So that was a bummer, and I couldn't get the money back until five to ten business days. And it hasn't, I think, business days itself, this is the fifth day. So I might not even get the money till next Monday, the $150 back. I could have definitely walked away. I would have definitely walked away with a helmet for sure today if I even just had that. Um, and then if I would have had the $400 back, which I didn't have to pay for the brakes at that time, 
I would have walked away with everything I wanted to. And I would have plenty of money for the rest of the week, too, so before I get paid, you know, money wouldn't have been an issue. But, I mean, it just sucks that the worst timing that I had to get brakes before I left, the rental car situation, the tire situation, the day I was supposed to leave that delayed me back a couple hours and cost me even more money. Just a just a complete bummer the way the trip started and the way it was looking like early in the week that I couldn't get it done. Uh, sorry for the lighting, by the way. I noticed when I was in my car, I mean, there's nothing I could do about the natural light in my eyes. It's actually pretty cloudy outside. I think it's going to rain here pretty soon. Uh, which is going to make for a fun drive back. <laughs> that won't, won't be that bad, but... In a quarter mile, turn left onto the I-77 north ramp. That'll be that, and I guess uh, there's a Bojangles I never got to hit when I was over here. Maybe on the way back. I saw there's a couple in West Virginia. I'll probably stop there for food. I'm going to need food at some point in time on the drive back. So maybe I'll hit a Bojangles. And drive as far as I can first. So uh, I'll... Not sure when I'll videotape again. Probably sometime in the middle of the ride. Maybe I'll tell another story. This just in, guys. I am at my house. It is 7.30 in the morning. Just got up here. It is Tuesday. Uh, my phone died last night before I could vlog uh, the final couple hours of the uh, of the trip back home. But I did make it home last night about 8 o'clock. Uh, stayed up for about another couple hours uh, watching Monday Night Raw. But um, here, we, here we are. So I made it back home. One piece. Uh, my car, Scarlet. That's what I name her. Um... Uh, she made it back home in one piece. So, pretty nice trip. Everything went according to plan. Once I, uh, well, after the delay and I was on the road a couple hours uh, later than when I wanted to be on Friday, but outside of that, uh, definitely had a fun time, had a blast. Best trip I've had so far as far as the NASCAR trip is considered. And uh, the... I didn't even get to see everything that I really wanted to see the first time uh, first time through. So I will definitely be back for the Coca-Cola 600 at some point in time. I'll vlog that as well. It'll look a lot similar to this, but I mean, even the race shop itself, I was so close to walking out with a helmet and a side panel. I will make sure I do that next time, or at least some portion or piece of the car. So definitely going to do that next time. Uh, still had a blast. I'll probably visit more race shops the next time I go down. Probably visit the NFL Hall of Fame. Maybe not necessarily the next Charlotte trip, but I will visit NFL Hall of Fame at some point in time. And uh, that that that's pretty much going to be a wrap. Uh, thanks for watching if you did watch uh, throughout the full extent of the video. And uh, leave a like. Um, NASCAR Heat 4 content. I will be on the PlayStation today for sure because I'm off of work today on vacation. Also off of work tomorrow on vacation. So very good chance I can uh, get a couple races in here in the next couple days. Uh, so stay tuned for that uh, as the season's going to continue for NASCAR Heat 4. Uh, picking up at Texas. And uh, hit the subscribe button if you want more NASCAR content. Uh, including, including future vlogs as well as NASCAR Heat 4 content. Maybe some other NASCAR stuff will be in the works later on. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'm signing out.